back at you again with another video welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel for those of you who are new here my name is tyler and i'm a medical student here at the ohio state university go buckeyes baby we are so back right now just woke up and i mean my sunrise alarm clock is doing its job i'm just kind of cooking in front of the <laughs> the alarm clock something that wakes me up i just sit here like a newborn chick under the lamp and i i use the light to wake me up i want to say i sit here for like two to three minutes it's almost as effective as a monster it's so zen up in here i don't have that grogginess when i wake out of bed i just sit here and fry in the the frying pan the skillet put the butter in and i'm just frying and waking up today it is time to secure the bag and just put all my hard work and see that come to fruition i'm towards the terminal aspect of my usmle uh, studying for step one. I'm on dedicated right now. So for those of you who don't know, USMLE is a really big exam that all medical students ha are required to take. It's rough. It's like an eight hour exam on everything we learned the first two years of medical school. It's like the ACT, but for medicine. And I'm almost there. I'm almost ready to take it. So today you're about to see just a study day my daily routine as a medical student studying for this board exam. I'm a big believer on just uh, non-GMOs, organic, healthy breakfast. So what we're having for breakfast today is some, um, a ghost. I just kind of snack throughout the day and then I eat a big dinner. The past six days, I've had my phone shut off and it's just been the most peaceful I just put sunscreen on, so I'm looking a little greasy, but it's been the most peaceful time of my life. I felt like I have been so in tune with my inner self. I've been enjoying life. I've been grounding myself. So I'll be sitting at like Mirror Lake, looking at the lake, actually enjoying it instead of checking my Snapchat. I also deleted Instagram, so I won't be on Instagram until after I take the US Emily. Just a personal choice. Taking a step back until I pass my test. Or when I turned off my phone for five days, I literally told nobody. So I don't really wake up to text messages. I maybe get one text message. It'll be like your debit card was used at Tim Hortons yesterday for 362. I mean, I have a group chat with the boys. That one is always going off. Boys in med school is always just popping. But for the most part, I really don't wake up to text. So I shut off my phone for five days, six days, actually. On the fifth day, I got a FaceTime from my mom. Phone has had no location on for five days. And I probably have 60 people on my Find Friends. So it's like, find my iPhone. It shows probably 60 people have my location. And my mom checked it and she's like, why, like, what's going on? I, I don't see your location. So we FaceTimed, I told her what happened, shut off my phone. And it reminded me of the one time my first year in med school where I was also on monk mode. So I had my phone shut off. But for some reason, my phone find my friends had my location in the middle of the pond that was behind my apartment complex. So <laughs> it was 1 a.m. I'm in my bed and I just hear pounding on my apartment door. I'm like, oh, that's weird. Like my roommate's home. Why is someone pounding at my door? Whatever. I go, I go to bed. We had a quiz the next day, but my mom mes messaged my roommate on Facebook. She's like, hey, we can't get a hold of Tyler. We're like so worried about him. We had the police do a wellness check at your guys' house at 1 a.m. yesterday. We saw his car, like what's going on? And then he was like, he was so nice about it. He's like, yeah, I told your mom, like you were, <laughs> you were just on monk mode. And that was the truth. Yeah, yesterday was the 4th of July, which is one of my favorite holidays. This thing has an American flag on it somewhere. There we go. I would say it's tied with christmas i just love being patriotic i missed my favorite holiday i mean i was driving back from lifetime fitness and i was driving by the lake saw some fireworks which was nice but it sucks this test kind of has me stagnant while seeing everybody else move on with their life it's frustrating but at the same time i think back to my pre-med self little tyler junior in college could meet myself right now I think I would be ec ecstatic. Yeah, this process is hard, but I mean, each day I'm one step closer to becoming a physician. Can't forget that. Gotta enjoy the small victories. Look at how much stuff I have to carry to the library that doesn't fit in my backpack. So first aid, the iPad, pathology, and then I'm doing some Melman high yield. So I already went through this, but it's just like, I wanna reread it again, especially immunology and anatomy and just slam this out but 
yeah now it's time to go to the library you're also probably wondering why i'm wearing all black i mean i'm feeling pretty emo today so on the walk over to the library i'm listening to a papa roach all american rejects you know it's just the usmle mindset my favorite part of the walk to the library has to be mirror lake i apologize for the shaky video it's just me in my books but look at how beautiful this is look at this Sometimes I'll just sit here with my Tim Hortons, just enjoy life. All right, so we touched down 18th Avenue, my favorite library possible. The energy here is amazing. Lock in for the next 12 hours, be serious about the dreams and commit to it and pass this test and just be over with and focus on clinicals soon. There's a light at the end of the tunnel, we'll get through it, we'll overcome. My favorite place I really energy here is just immaculate. Look at this place. Deserted. Wow. This used to be in prior hall and now it's it's gone. The green monsters. I'm to just a secure cubicle on the fourth floor. All right, so you're probably wondering what is on the agenda as am I? Oh, I don't know what happened here. I'm in a, a soundproof box in the fourth floor, which is a silent floor. But I wanna say number one thing on the agenda today is, so I've made Anki cards on the questions that I missed on the NBME, which is essentially people who write the USMLE, they make practice tests of it, so it's an NBME. I made flashcards on what I missed or concepts that I, I got right, but was kind of shaky on. So I'm gonna do my Anki on that, which is spaced repetition <laughs> to help me get through uh, learning this. So just a heads up, if you are a type A person in medical school, you are probably gonna have a heart attack looking at my Anki cards, but I, I wanna be transparent and show you. So as I previously said, if you are type A, you are probably screaming right now with my do Anki cards, but I'm just focusing on my weaknesses. So my goal is to finish all of pharmacology today. I have not touched the repo drug, high yield antivirals, high yield antimicrobials, but yeah, also doing Dukes for Pathoma. I want to do first three, so I'll probably slam out second and third today and then review my missed exams, my missed questions or stuff I was shaky on. 241, honestly, it looks like a lot, and honestly, it is. I'd rather get them wrong now than to get them wrong on the actual U.S. Emily. so yeah, time to just lock in and do some... Do some Anki. You already know what time it is. All right, so five hours in the book in 18th Avenue, and it's time for a little monster break. Just got all over my screen, but I like to study for like Five, four to five hours straight and then just have a break be one with nature let the blades of grass run through my feet touch grass i think that's so important to just have a nice breather and be one with nature i feel like medical students collectively talk about step one being the worst period of medical school and honestly if that's true that's awesome i'm still trying to find ways where i have enjoyment throughout the day whether it's breaks like this listening to music during my study breaks so i mean songs that describe my life right now move along all american rejects when all you gotta do when all you gotta keep is strong move along move along another song uh bon jovi living on a prayer we're halfway there we're living on a prayer and then I think the last song, the culmination is Fly Away by Lenny Kravitz. I want to get away. I want to fly away. <laughs> After step, I, I do have a plan to go to Hawaii, but 
my credit cards being maxed and my bank statements are saying otherwise. So if you want to support a small content creator, feel free to buy the sunscreen in the description below so I can make a solid 10 cents on the Amazon affiliate link. I'll like this video or subscribe so we can possibly have a, a sponsorship in the near future and I'll save that money and just fly off to Hawaii. I've been really enjoying the process of Dedicated. I mean, mind you, I, I am taking a little longer than my peers, but that's all right. Everyone's on their own timeline and I, I just feel like in life, as soon as I stop trying to force something, life has gotten so much better. So just letting go. I'm a very extroverted person and I mean like, I talk to nobody. I Probably 12 hours of studying, I maybe say 50 words the entire day. So a lot of the time is spent by myself. And a lot of the time is just spent reflecting on things that have occurred to me or just inward healing. So I would say the times where I'm by myself, I'm just thinking about how I was as a pre-med or how I dreamed about these days and I'm I'm finally living these days. The art of letting go is just something that I'm thankful for, whether it's friendships, the specialty I'm dreaming of, relationships, just letting go and letting life work its way out on its own path. I think back to my number one medical school interview experience, which was Loyola Stritch School of Medicine. And I loved that interview so much that I would have gone to that school based on how they made me feel. Everything aside, if I didn't get into The Ohio State. One of the questions that I vividly remember is, where do you see yourself in five years? How I responded with that was, after someone who was involved in a serious accident, I saw that life can be over in a blink of an eye. So it's important to have these goals for five years, 10 years down the road, but not being caught up in them. Because as a medical student, you can be so focused on the next step, whether it's passing step, starting clinic goals, applying to residency, matching residency, becoming a resident, becoming an attending. It's so easy to be caught up in those goals and be lost in the journey. So just finding time to reflect on the journey, enjoying it as well, is something I, I highly prioritize. Thinking back to that Loyola interview, when I said that I was involved in that serious accident, I saw that life could end in, in an instant. And if I would have been so caught up in whether it would be getting into med school or completing my first year, completing my second year, if I'm just so focused on those goals, I would have missed out on enjoying the little things in life. So make that a priority. I mean, life is beautiful. This whole journey is just unraveling. I'm seeing it come to fruition. I mean, I didn't know if you wanted to watch me on a time lapse studying for five hours straight, hunched over at a 45 degree angle with some serious kyphosis. I mean, I could definitely include that, but if I were to watch that on a medical student's vlog, I would skip right through it. So I enjoy these heart to hearts with you because there's really nobody that I'm talking to right now. So I use the internet as just a means to escape and I, I enjoy sharing the journey with you guys. What's next is I just needed a change of scenery because I was in that library for five hours, kind of defrosting right now because it was so cold in that library and that's why I wear long sleeves when I study. With that being said, I'm gonna head over to Pryor. I'll be tried to get in the monster. That's not happening, but study until eight or 9 p.m. It's so beautiful right now, this study break. Just feeling the sun hit my skin. I had a professor, so we have a longitudinal group, I think. I always mix them up. There's like LP, LC, LG. So LG, yeah, longitudinal group here at the Ohio State. So your first two years, you're paired up in small groups with your classmates, probably less than 20 people, and you have a physician who teaches you how to take a history, how to do physical exams. And we had two of them, both the phenomenal professors. And for my feedback, one of the professors, she was just one of the nicest people ever. When you would be in her presence, it felt like the sun hitting your face. And so for the review, I said positives. I'm just like, even on my darkest days, you were the light of the room. And then I said, how to relate that energy is me studying in a dark, cold basement all day. And 12 hours later, I walk outside and the sun hits my face. That's how I describe your energy when it comes to teaching this class. There's 
so many phenomenal souls in medicine. I'm just eager. I mean, I'm excited for these next steps, but I'm also enjoying the process of studying. I'm seeing all my hard work come together. I'm understanding stuff a lot more. I'm taking a full length actually tomorrow, so sun prayers that that goes well. But <laughs> it's just beautiful. Life is good. I'm enjoying this time in my life, even if it is the worst time as a medical student, it's uphill from here. Time to just have that walk back to Pryor Hall, change the scenery, and then blast off for another five hours. So there's been an update on the Pryor Hall monster vending machine debacle. Since the last video, they removed the monster vending machine and then they added in, hear me out, a healthy snacks vending machine. At least give me the option. If you want a monster vending machine next to the healthy snacks, that's fine. But let's see, some kettle cooked chips, this is almost as bad as the time when Michelle Obama replaced my french fries in high school with broccoli. I guess I need to find a new monster vending machine plug outside of 18th Avenue. If you have suggestions on where I can find monster on campus after hours, please let me know. Thank you. So just an update, I touched down in Pryor Hall. I just read Pathoma chapter two. I'm going through Duke's deck right now to solidify the content as well as just when I attempt the, the Anki card, I'll write the answer down. It just helps me with memorizing it. So my plan is to finish Pathoma's chapters one through three, which are very high yield for the USMLE. Focus on those three. And then I might tack in cardiology chapter because for some reason I can't get the murmur straight so mitral stenosis, aortic rigor. So I just gotta work on those. I'm, I'm in the final stretch, so hitting out my weakness is pretty hard, slamming the high yield stuff, make sure that I know that for the exam and just putting my best foot forward is what my plan is for today. And then full length comes tomorrow and I'll, I'll see where I stand. The school sponsored CBSE. So we have to hit a 65% correct to, it's weird how they gauge it. So for the USMLE, the practice exams, they give you a score correct out of 100, so percentage. And you need a 65 or higher, and that indicates that you have a 100% chance of passing when you sit the actual exam. I'm not too sure what goes be what goes into that, but hopefully tomorrow is above 65. The scores have been trending good in the good direction, and I'm gonna slam out my weaknesses and take the CBSE under actual test taking conditions tomorrow and see where I stand. Hit a good amount of cards for my Anki cards, decided to take a pre-dinner break. So this is my dinner before dinner. I'm planning to get Chipotle after this, but I decided to get some hospital pizza. I promise that this tastes better than it looks. And as somebody who lived in Chicago for five years, this is some good pizza. But then again, it does not take much to impress me. So, <laughs> I'm gonna have a nice little pizza break, watch some RuneScape clips, and have a pre-dinner, work on my note cards, finish up here, and then go home, get Chipotle, shower, and go to bed. It is brutal out here. These flashcards are dense. All right, it is 10 p.m., and I'm at that point in the night where I'm going through the same Anki card 25 times, and it's still not clicking, so it's time to listen to my brain and understand that I'm done for the night. Normally I would be going to the gym at this time, but the gym closes at 10 or closed at 10. There's no point. I'm going to go to Chipotle before they close at 11, grab my second dinner and call it for the, tonight. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you made it this far, I really appreciate it. Thanks for all the support and it keeps me going, it keeps me eager to post. I'm feeling just exhausted at this point. I don't know if you can tell, but it's time for me to call it for the night. And there's Jenna on the screen. She's phenomenal. She tutored me in cardiology and I scored so good on that practical. So if you need a tutor at The Ohio State University College of Medicine, go to Jenna. Well, thank you for tuning in. I appreciate you. See ya concrete jungle where dreams are made of there's nothing you can't do now you're in ohio ohio <laughs>